the Capitals, they played so well in this series. They broke their back, but you just can't let the other team win the draw in in your zone the way that the Capitals allowed the Rangers to win it there. Rangers took advantage of it. And now the New York Rangers move on to play the Tampa Bay Lightning. I wish we had a buddy of ours that was over the top <laughs> crazy about the city of Tampa Bay. Wait a minute. Hello, Dick Vitale. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. We're excited down here, obviously. Excited because we beat the Yankees the last two games. And also went out there and beat the, uh, uh, right now, got that big one over the Canadians. Yeah, and now you've got our New York Rangers preparing to face off with your Tampa Bay Lightning. You excited? Yeah, real excited. I don't think it's any contest. I think you're going to see uh, the Lightning within six. I really do. They dominated them during the year with three zip on them. I know they're a different team come tournament time. I know all about the fact that they're a different team in, in the playoffs. But I'm going to tell you this right now. They can be all the difference they want. And they bring our guy Marty St. Louis and all those people. Come on down. It is going to be a party for Tampa Bay. Dickie V, let us introduce you to King Henrik Lundqvist. This guy is unstoppable in the postseason with his back against the wall. That doesn't scare you at all? Well, I tell you, he's been absolutely sensational, no doubt about it. Hey, man, I don't know much about hockey. I went the other night. <laughs> yeah, I don't know blue lines, red lines, green <laughs> lines. But I know the final score when it's all said and done. And I watched the Lightning just dominate. Bishop was terrific in goal. Uh, they're getting now Stamkos is putting uh, goals on, on the board, on the ice. And I'm telling you, watch out. They are ready to roll, man. And they're going to beat your Rangers, who had the best record in hockey this year. But they were 0-3, man. 0-3. You heard me against the Lightning. Well, Dickie V, the problem is if you're going to the Lightning games, that means there'll be absolutely no fans at the Rays games. That place has been empty lately. I know. It really breaks my heart. You know, when I hear the Yankees are in town, you get less than 10,000. I just don't understand it. I really, uh, it frustrates me. It really does. I know we need a new building, and I hope that's the answer, but I'd hate to see us lose baseball. Diggy B, is that the answer? Is the trap just so run down it's time for a new uh, new stadium and everything will be all right? Well, you know, I, I think it will help big time. I think we definitely need a new place, all the modern facilities, the suites, and I think you're going to see it ultimately go up in Tampa. I don't think they're going to leave the area. I hope and pray they don't. But uh, it's sad. I mean, Major League Baseball, you sit there and you're watching like 10,000 fans. The other day they had a game at 8,000 and change. I mean, you just can't exist like that. Dick Vitale with Armin in the back on 104.5, the team, our buddy Dickie V. Uh, of course, Dick Vitale online.com, at Dickie V on Twitter. And Dickie V, the Rays in second place in the AL East, lost the manager. You know, hey, we thought the Rays were going to be stinky, and they're surviving. They're behind the Yankees in the division. Well, you know, we've suffered so much in the way of injuries. you got to credit Kevin Cash. I don't know him at all. I knew Joe Madden, but everybody likes him. All the players seem to have a great relationship. He communicates well. He's young. He's vibrant. Has a great feel for the game. Wasn't a great, great player. Was a guy that studied the game. And you look at their lineup uh, offensively, not very productive at the bats, but they certainly been getting some solid pitching. And what's amazing, when you think about the guys that are not pitching, Cobb and Smiley and Matt Moore. I mean, all these guys are major, major arm problems, yet they reach into the minors and they bring up guys who contribute. And then you look at the lineup, we got to start getting Evan Longoria to be the superstar that many of us feel he can be and really be productive big time with the bat and get Loney going. Uh, we think Susan's going to be a real good player, show some pop. He can really uh, run as well, and he's been able to hit about six, seven homers. So, and Cabrera's been solid for them. So they got a good bench. they got people coming off, playing together, showing again you don't need all those big names. Even though you don't love my Yankees, Dickie V, i got to tell you, I think you would be my number one guy to watch a baseball game with. Well, you know, I, I, you said I don't love him. I love what Joe Girardi's done. I, I think the combination up in front, Ellsbury and certainly Gardner gives him great speed. A-Rod's produced a lot more than I think people expected with his power. Uh, but I, I will say this. I've been here for... I don't know how many years sitting in that box right next to the visitors' dugout since the first game they ever played at the Trop. And I tweeted this the other day. 
This Yankee team has better chemistry than I have seen in many a year. The chemistry in that dugout, as my seat touches the dugout, is so special. They seem to like each other, respect each other, play hard for each other, and play together. Because that is not a vintage Yankee lineup when you look at the names and the players playing. But they produce, and that team's going to be tough to beat all year. I got to get a T.O., baby. We got my big gala. I got to go to work on my gala right now. Tell us about it. It's, it's tomorrow, and the ticket sales were phenomenal, right? You're sold out. Yeah, we've been sold out for a while now, over 870. Place holds about 825. That's where I'm going right now, down to the Ritz. Uh, we got to do out some figuring, but uh, it's a great problem to have. Uh, we got people on a waiting list. Uh, it's, it's really, we need more people to donate, though, guys. I, mean, I need more people to donate. Tell us My how. goal is big now. My goal Tell is no longer a million. I want to get two million at the end of that night tomorrow after all of our expenses. We have over 74 celebrities going to be with us. We have right now honoring Jim Beheim, Lovey Smith, and Jumbo Fisher for what they've done away from the arena of coaching. I mean, Jim Beheim and his wife, Julie, have raised over millions out there. So we're, we're really going to spend time uh, and a tribute to those people put together that will not be a dry eye. We got one on Stuart Scott and his daughters will be with us. And it's, it's unbelievable. You should see this video. And then we got a video on the young girl that lost her life at 19, basketball player from out of Cincinnati, Lauren Hill. Her mom and dad are going to be with us where we're going to present a quarter of a million dollars in her name to battle pediatric brain cancer. I mean, this to me, I'm obsessed with it. And then I will culminate it. If you guys run it, you can see it. Go to my website, DickVitalOnline.com, yep. and you will see my all-courageous team. And I'm going to introduce them. And, man, I'm going to tell you, they are special. The names don't mean a lot to many of you. But Marissa Petty, for example, eight years old, leukemia, could not dance anymore. She was a dancer. So now she sings, and she sells her music on iTunes and donates the money to charity. Kyle Peters, an all-star little leaguer, came down with brain cancer, diagnosed inoperable cancer. And now, all of a sudden, he's cancer-free. So, yes, research works. We're going to have Tatum Parker. She had Ewing sarcoma, and then ultimately, she went away. And then 18 months later, came down with lung cancer, 12 years old. She can't do enough to help other kids with Tatum's bags of fun. Jared Rascio, tremendous young kid, diagnosed in 20, April 28, leukemia. Today, he is now in remission. Great story. Aaron Kizalewski, in remission, had leukemia at age two. And today, she's absolutely cancer-free. She's 15 years old, and she works like she can't believe to help others. What about Cole Eicher, 13 years of age? Think about this. Brain cancer. Underwent unbelievable surgery, chemotherapy. His friends raised $5,400 in his name for him. He said, no, I don't want the money. I want to donate it to help other kids. And that's what he did. He's ready. He's unbelievable when I think of that. I think about Skylar Dunn. She had 849 doses of chemotherapy. Unbelievable. And she now has formed an army of 10,000 strong around the country through Instagram, through Twitter. And she has all these young people helping her raise money for cancer. I mean, if that is not impressive and doesn't bring when I bring them up on stage and they're going to come up there, that place is going to unbelievably explode. Beautiful kids. Beautiful kids. That's incredible. Nobody does uh, anything more to battle cancer than Dick Vitale. Dick V, we love you. Of course, you can help out as well. DickVitaleOnline.com. We wanted to have you on today. Wish you luck at your gala tomorrow. And uh, have fun watching Lightning and Rangers uh, next week as well. It'll be a fun series. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. And people could donate if they have a healthy child, someone that's healthy, grandchild. Take a moment. Take a look at the picture of those kids at DickVitaleOnline.com. And there's a place you could donate right there. And will help me toward that goal of two million dollars for kids battling cancer i got five healthy grandkids man i just donated a thousand dollars for each grandkid because i'm so blessed and so lucky so please i ask people whatever they can donate 100 250 do it on behalf of one of these kids diggy v the capital region supports you and your fight thank you so much for everything you do we love you appreciate you spending time with us today dick Take care, buddy. And I'll tell you, lightning in six. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, coach. Have a great gala. Love you, Dickie V.